What's up everyone, Tech Me out here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the top 10 free tweaks in Cydia for iOS 9. So recently, an iOS 9 jailbreak was pushed out for all of us to enjoy, and of course, in that enjoyment, we wanna download some tweaks that are compatible with this iOS version that we are now jailbroken on. With this video, I'm gonna give you at least 10 free ones to check out for your device. So, let's talk. So the first tweak we have on the list is Sensio, and I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, not too certain. But nonetheless, this is going to give you app store-like reviews for the Cydia store. So what I mean by that is if I hop on into Cydia right now, and how many of you ever wanted to get the top charts of tweaks to check out, or maybe some insight on a particular tweak, this particular tweak will give you those things. So right here in the bottom, where my tabs are located, you see I have a new tab called Top Charts. So if I tap on Top Charts here, it's basically giving me a list of some pretty popular tweaks that are worth checking out along with their ratings now in the case that you happen to be searching for a tweak and you're wondering does the review option apply there it does so you can tap on a tweak and still be able to see the reviews for that particular tweak and if you sign in with your account you can also leave a comment of your own regarding the tweak but that in essence is all it does so next on the list we have cask now this particular tweak is going to add an animation when you're scrolling in your settings so if I tap on settings and then I begin to scroll here, let me get my hand out the way. You can see that it kind of slides in for all of my options that I have that are about to hit my screen. They just slide right on in. So you do have some settings for this one. You can tap on it and change the style of it. So currently I have mine set to slide, but let's try grow instead. You don't need to respring to see this basically take effect. So as you can see now, it does this little growing animation. So like I said, it just really animates your settings when you're scrolling and that's it. Next up, we have album. And what this is going to do is give you some options when you take a screenshot. So if I were to take a screenshot right now, I get an alert on my screen in regards to what I want to do with that screenshot. So as you can see, I have the option to do a couple of things. I can save it to my photo library. I can copy it to my clipboard or go ahead and upload it to Imager or I can share it. So all of these are options every time you take a screenshot, but you do have more configuration options in your settings in terms of what happens when you take a screenshot in case you don't want to have to choose every time. And looking at my home screen here, you'll see I have five icons across my screen. This was done with better five column home screen. Now it doesn't stop there because in my dock, I also have five icons and this was done with better five icon dock. Now, of course, for those of you that might be a little bit more seasoned in the jailbreak game, we know that Spring to Mice 3 can do this as well, but until it comes out, this is a great alternative. Another tweet worth checking out is Glow Badge. What you get here with this one is pretty much a slight glow effect to an icon that has a badge. So instead of just getting a badge on an icon, you have a little subtle glowing effect going on behind the icon to further illustrate that you have new notifications in there. So as you can see over here on Cydia, I have a little glowing effect, compliments of glow badge to let me know that something new is going on in there versus just having that red circle. For those that are curious, you do have some options such as turning the tweak on or off, adjusting if it's gonna work for folders or not, and changing the color of the glow as well. In addition to those things, you can also change if it doesn't apply to certain applications and increase the strength of the glow in case it's not enough. Cause I think mine's right now is very subtle. Next we have face down, and this is for those of you that want a quick way to lock your device without having to hit the lock button. So your option now is to just simply turn your phone down on its face and it will be locked. So as you can see there, in case you missed it, I'm gonna do it one more time. My phone is currently unlocked right now, but the moment that I lay it down, it goes and it locks itself. So that's just another way to lock your phone without having to hit the lock button. Coming in next, we have Easy Respring. What this does is if you double press your home button and go into your multitask switcher, you can take your finger on your home screen here and just swipe up and it will instantly respring your device. So this is a nice way to quickly respring your device when you're on the go. Now in that last tweak that I just showed you, you might have noticed something that was a little bit different in terms of my multitask switcher. So if I double press my home button, even though I'm on iOS 9, it no longer looks like the one on iOS 9. So this was done with a legacy switcher. And personally, I love this because I'm not a fan of the iOS 9 multitask switcher. So if you find that you're not either and you'd rather have the iOS 8 multitask switcher on your iOS 9 device, then this is definitely the tweak for you. And lastly, we have shortcuts. 
Now this tweak is pretty cool because it gives you options on items that you normally wouldn't have when you use 3D Touch. So for example, if I use 3D Touch on my settings here, you'll see that I now have some options that normally would not be there, such as rebooting my device, respringing my device, powering it off, or putting it into safe mode. So that alone is definitely worth checking out if you potentially want more options on the things that you can 3D touch on. But that sums everything up for this particular video. Those are my top 10 free tweaks that I think are worth definitely checking out. If you have some that you're currently enjoying on iOS 9 that you feel might be worth mentioning, definitely drop it down below because I might just feature it in my next one. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do to that like button. Now, if you're the type that likes to know the status of my next video upload, definitely follow me on Twitter because generally before I upload a video, I always let the people that follow me on Twitter know first by saying video coming out in 10 minutes or something like that. Nonetheless, my social links are down below. If you have any further questions, drop them in the comments section. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.